Welcome back to Bard Tale 3. Uh, this is Jay Rothman. I'm back in Arborea. Uh, I skipped the part where I loaded my party and fought with the copy protection for a bit. Um, maybe I should edit it out more subtly, like just the part where I ended the copy protection. Anyway, that's what I did. Um, my current plan for how to deal with Lillian is I'm going to get her to... Uh, whatever, she, Magician 13, and then go back and kill Brahasti again, and take my take my reward from him with a little bit of cheating. Or, maybe not cheating, but going outside the boundaries of what the game is going to let me do easily. Um, I consider this very equivalent to just having decided to level her up and beat Belhasti with her. Uh, not going to change much in terms of her power, my party's power. It just allows me to sort of fix a really awkward scenario. Theoretically, I could roll a new magician and go kill Belhasti with her and then bring a different party and then go to the old man and then have the same more or less result. But that just seems like a big waste of time to me. Okay, so uh, we're here in Arborea. I decided to use this light gray color for items that I'm going to put on the map but outside the borders of the map so you can tell where you are. Um, and for now, I'm going to head west because I haven't gone that way. And then south, looks like it has more trees than I knew about. Step two south. Yeah. Oop. One tree is on my left, I think. Oh, no, that's the tree in front of me. And so you can't see trees to your immediate side, which is fine. Uh, forward one more. And we have the edge of some sort of city. And a tree that's two off? Is that two off? One, two, no, it was it was three. Uh, there's something on the ground over there. Some kind of, I don't know, like blob or I'm not going to worry about naming it super accurately right now. Foul noxious fumes rise from a gaping pit. Okay, so we have pit. And a building ahead. Uh, on the other side of the world, though, I'm gonna wait to see where I, if I know where it is before I draw it. So I don't have to adjust it multiple times. Uh, and if it's not on the edge, I don't, I'm not gonna draw it on the side at all. So we just wrapped to here. 
think there's a building here. Although I don't need it to be black. And the default color is fine. And I'm going to draw with doors so it'll let my guy walk into it. There's also some text. Reaching into the sky. Larian's, Larian's Tower. Capital T Tower. Stands as a monument. For what once was. Like when he went on the great quest, or like when he was still alive, kind of what this was. I I don't know. Um, okay, let's turn north, and I think I can see those trees that I already marked. Okay, yeah, the the entrance note is on all sides. I'm not gonna. I, I don't know. Do I, is, is it worth marking that crap? Maybe I'm going to mark it. Just, just to be done with it. And I bet same over here. Okay. Uh, let's explore this little region. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got more text. The field is full of beautiful flowers that float and dance on the light breezes. And to my west, it looks like this is pretty hard to see. There's trees behind and a similarly green, because there's only one green on the Commodore, right? There's 16 colors, that's it. Um, there's some kind of thing behind in front of the trees. There is a large pile of arafo arafolia leaves. Somehow I thought the other guy called them arafoil, and this is calling them arafolia, but maybe I misremember him. Um, do you want to gather some leaves? I don't know why I want them because I think these are let me leave, you know, let me breath underwater, and um, I think I already can with the spell. But I'm gonna take some anyway. Maybe maybe they uh, are part of some puzzle. Do how many do I get? Just, just an item. And I wonder if I use it, does it, uh, does that work for her or does that work for everyone? Okay, what am I going to use for our folia? I don't know. Let's say there's an item. That is super hard to read. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change the icon, not the, not the text, because the, I don't know what different colored text would mean. So there's something to get. And, or maybe it's just a 
a differently colored tree? Because it's a bush. Okay. Continuing. I'm not continuing because I'm fighting. Uh, I don't know if any of these can cast spells, but they all started in melee range. Melee range. Um, so I'm suspicious they will not. Uh, you can wait. <laughs> oh, these guys are so useless. Uh, what do you know by now? Do you know Dragon Breath? You do. You can use that on the third Accursed Ones group. And this has got to speed up. Oh, Blossom, you did less than 2,000 damage. I'm very disappointed. Oh, and I have no spells running. Look at that. I'm very sloppy here. Oh, so... Oh, no, never mind. I saw this 10 difference and I thought that my Lillian had taken damage, but no. Chantrell hits for 17. And I had my rogue attack without hiding, which is a mistake. And I paid for that mistake by getting hit. Okay, so I have multiple old party members, which I'm not a fan of. A dragon wand. Uh, oh, I, should, I also have that master wand. Could hand the master wand off to Elendor. Oh, come on, I just finished the fight. Go away. Where? Oh, and the sorcerer's staff. I don't know what these things do. But I'm going to hand them to my, use, my party members that have nothing to do. I hated it to myself because I thought I was seven. I used to be seven. Arms and I, I don't know who to hand to. Uh, looks like it has limited uses. Who's going to want to throw things from range when they haven't got someone they'd rather punch? I don't know. I'm going to start with Elena. Okay. Where's that master wand? I'm still carrying around the youth potion. I need to drop that off in the bank. That is garbage characters that I'm not using. Okay, the master wand is here. I'm gonna drop Ollie's carpet because it just creates a levitation spell. And I don't know. I don't seem to be ever in a situation where I want to cast that alone. Okay, then the restoration. Get rid of the poison. And I'll finally adjust my position on the map. I think it's time to see if... Well... I'm looking for a healer. In the last world, the temple was... 
out in the wilderness. Which kind of made sense because um, the town was a ruin. The only kind of temple you're going to find there was the kind of temple you didn't want. Here I'm wondering whether the town might have a temple. One Eben Harpy. I don't know how bad this is going to be, but I'll fight it. Try out this boomerang. Probably doesn't go 60 feet. I still don't have a bard song running. Soul Whip. Oh, that was enough. New items, please? No? Yes? Oh, an Alice carpet, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Shows willing. To the south of here are a large number of fresh acorns. Okay. What if I step south? You see a large oak tree here, and the ground is littered with acorns. Do you want to pick a fresh acorn off the tree? Uh, I feel like there's two obvious results this could have. One of them is we get an acorn, and one of them is some kind of monster comes out and yells at us for taking acorns. I guess I'm going to go with a differently colored tree. I don't see anything here that suggests what I'm, I don't know, whatever. Differently colored tree it is. Uh, actually, I don't have the tree in my recently used icons. Here we go. Here's the tree. Purse. Bed. How many times am I going to get to use these things? Okay. Uh, for autumn. We're going to make an autumn colored tree because that's what I associate with acorns. And I just overwrote my tree. No, 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 I meant to do option N, not command N. Acorn. Who wants to get the acorn? Lillian will take an acorn. Okay, so I have some arafolia leaves. And I have an acorn. And I don't seem to see many, I don't, I don't see much in the way of likely candidates for a shrine in the wilderness.
There's a little dead end here. One, two, three. I don't want light as I want on the tree. And ghost tree on the other side. No, I don't want to put the option H. This is, God damn it. Option H, come on. Come on. It's supposed to be the thing that lets me move my guy. Oh, I'm in a keyboard mode, so up, so it doesn't work. Whatever. <clears throat> um, west, west, north, west, west, west. We got a note about this. The text on the screen was just, hey, there are, there are acorns. You're missing the acorns. Actually, I'm, I was here. Now I'm going to step here and here and here. And let's go south to get to the city. Here we go, I finally remembered to turn on my bark song. So there's places I there's spots I haven't stepped on, but if there had if there was like a shrine in the game, I totally have stepped here and here and here. Uh, if there was a shrine in the game, I would have seen it. At least the shrine in the wilderness. So now we're in Sierra Brania. Sierra Brania. And it's definitely a town. the built-in pause. Um, I kind of would like to figure out if I can make it a layer here. Oh, how do I say that this map has a ground floor? Floors. Uh... Wait, rename floor? F region has a ground floor. There we go. Okay, and move this down. Because if anything is the ground floor, it's when you're standing outside on the ground. And I'm wondering if I can make floor one be the town a little bit of creative license. Can it have its own grid? Uh, okay, so what if I make the grid size be some weird size? So this is long and skinny. And if I go back to outside, no, there's one grid for the whole region. So we'll find out whether
whether the town is 12 by 12. Hmm. I kind of doubt it. Okay. This is... This is where... Come on, I, I actually wanted that. This is, this is the way out of the town. And I think it's going to be doors everywhere. Oh, it's a kind of town where there are enemies everywhere. In other words, a Bard's Tale kind of town. Mm. What they use for interiors? I'm going to use gray number five for interiors. Enjoy your next life. Okay, there's an ebon zombie and a sable lich. The sable lich is the one that's threatening. Use arms. Oh, you can't use an arms knife. You can't. You can't. Okay, well, I'll hand it to someone else soon. All you've got is vitality. Uh, wait, no, I gave you items, right? No, I gave them to my other. I gave them to Lillian. Okay, well, you're gonna defend. <laughs> uh, full whip on that sable lich. And I'm going to try out the Sorcerer's Staff, which has no target, so I don't know what it's going to do. Okay, I killed off the Lich. That's good. Still have no idea what that sorcerer's staff did. Let's try the master wand on the zombies. Well, some kind of attack, but not one that worked. How about the dragon wand on the zombies? Speed this up. Uh, I thought that items' uh, effectiveness was independent of the user, but now I'm not so sure. It sure looks like my low level uh, character is ineffective no matter what she uses. I, I keep forgetting what I'm trying to do. Uh, I want to lower my armor class because the only problem I have left is that they'll hit me.
ape seems to have either I'm not paying attention or it has incredibly large amounts of hit points. Okay, um, I'm not excited about having a thousand fights while looking for a temple, especially not two fights in one room. Or three fights in one room. I'm going to run away again. Four fights in one room? Okay, that was a lot of you hanging out in this tiny cupboard. Or not, I don't know, it's like a cabin. How about the other side of the front gates? Less exciting. stands before the court of the king. Do you wish to speak to the king? I'm going to say no. Okay, that was straightforward. Let's try yes. The king, I guess that's his name, a white-haired elf stands before you. Elves are really long-lived, right? So this guy's like thousands of years old, maybe? It is our pleasure to greet you. I know you are here to recover the arrows with an apostrophe of life and Valerian's bow. Okay, the apostrophe here is correct. This is not correct. Oh well. Uh, but I cannot permit the desecration of his tomb. Oh, he's dead. Okay. That's not what I was hoping for. Until the land has been ridded of Slotha Garnoth. Bring me his head and I will allow you to access the sacred grove. You may find this cursed one in the festering pit, an unholy place riddled with the filth from hell. Okay, um, I'm gonna start. I think that is build instructions for um, for oh maybe I, 
I mean, I have some notes for Bard's Tale 3. Might as well show them to you. I started taking notes on uh, what monsters were mean so I could deal with them. In fact, I want to say Arborea. Okay, so that's our current leaf is, oh, in pit. So go to the pit, kill Slotha Garnath. Right, got it. Now be off. Take heed that Slotha Garnath can only be killed with a Night Spear, a deadly weapon hidden in the top level of Valerian's tower. Okay, so using... Okay. Get Night Spear from Valerian's Tower. Okay, so that's the general outline of this. What if we talk to him again? Bring me Slotha's head! Okay, so we have to go to Valerian's Tower and get a Night Spear. And then go to the pit and kill Slotha Garnath. And then go to the tomb and get the items. And then go back to where we came from. That was efficient quest giving, Mr. King. Thank, thank, thank you for that. Okay, but I still, I still kind of want to know there's a temple here. And if there was one, would I be able to recognize it among the sea of... potential doors? How about Mr. Automap? Oh, no Automap in towns. That's that's a that's a bummer. One, two, three.
One, two, three. To the west is the sacred grove. Need the. I don't want to be on the tool marker. Why am I on the tool marker? I mean the label mark, the label tool, whatever. Okay, so there's a grove there. To the west is the sacred grove. So if I go west, the en the entrance to the sacred grove is here. There is a sign nearby. It says, by proclamation of the king, only those who have proved themselves worthy may enter the sacred grove. Since you're not worthy, I guess you can't enter. You'd better talk to the king about this. Does that sign <clears throat> say the second part? I think that's like the narrator. Okay, and I can't go into these any of these other trees. And we've gotten, well, it could still fit into this space. It's still possible. I didn't try this tree. Nope. Oh, to the south, you see the Wizard's Guild. Uh, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm putting down things I don't mean to put down by going into keyboard mode by accident. Well, not by accident, but okay, so in keyboard mode, I'm used to putting down walls. I guess I can also put down markers with spacebar. Uh, I'm not going to put down a note about... I don't, I don't think it's exciting to have a note about... I'm just going to put down Wizards Guild. Wizard... Guild. Get, get, wizards got guild. Whether wizards global universal identifier. Okay, what what's what's in the wizards guild? A, a guy waving his hands. Um. That are in the Hall of Wizards. Oh, so there's a training. There's a training spot here. Probably I could have used this to level up my character, uh, Lillian, without getting her quest flag all screwed up. Uh, spell acquiring. Buy a new spell. Oh, they sell Gills Gills here. I bought it much cheaper than you will you offer it. Um what if I buy it? Will you offer me something else? No. You just sell Gills Gills for more expensive than fishermen. Okay. That's a thing you can do, you know? Don't have regularized markets in the time period whenever this is. Um, I guess that's it for you. So that note about the Wizards Guild makes me hopeful that I'll get a note about 
a temple like this one. Oh, I get the last tool I use when I press spacebar, not the last marker I use. Okay, let's use that little, that red crossy plus, if I can find it. Oh, I could even use the trainer symbol for the wizard's guild. Check it out. Okay, um, not, not there. Nope. And here's the healer. Yeah, I don't want to be old anymore. It'd be nice if we could do this in real life. I'm pushing 50. Can you fix that? I want to be like 25 again. Okay. What, what expired anyway? Uh, light spell, which I don't need. start making the labels in a different color. judgment call on whether there's going to be anything interesting in any of the buildings that are not labeled. My gut feeling is no. nothing. I gotta hand her the those attacks items. Um Shade Dogs, you can go away. You can just go away.
I'm going to attack Eben zombies for the most part. So everything in this place is like dark. Okay, so the newts have breath weapons. Which kills off Lily and Stone Lily and Dew Spray, of course. What is the chances that the ordering of my actions will leave Lillian alive? Well, it looks like she stayed alive. That is favorable. I wonder if she can level up again by now. Oh, and that was, uh... That was this location. Oh, I have to do a lot, a lot of actions to fill in the spot. thousand for the next level. Is she ready to learn spells yet? Nope. Maybe the houses around the grove are safer. Slash more boring. So does anyone live here? Or is it just all empty buildings? Oh, I already explored this building. Uh, no, just, I don't, I don't care enough. There's gonna be plenty of fights. Am I using the same color everywhere? I'm not seeing further. These two buildings that are most close by are immediately left and right, which is completely inconsistent with the way that the walls are done in the dungeon. <laughs> uh, 
sure I will start exploring these buildings. assumption that it's the same building no matter what door you go in through. Hardly I'm making that assumption because I didn't make that assumption when I first played this game and I tried every door entrance to everything in every town. And guess what? It, never, it doesn't ever make a difference. It's always the same building. For example, to the east we see a temple. And it's the same temple, believe it or not. Not that it matters, because temples are all basically the same. Okay, uh, I lost another spell, the compass. background that you may or may not have picked up on. Oh, you know, if I press question mark, I do get axes. We're 7 south and 5 west. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fighting them, whatever they are. The sorceress is the dangerous one. Oh, I forgot to move the knife. Um, okay, well, whatever. We have three grunts. Last time I wasn't sure what was going on with them not dying, so I'm gonna try to pay more attention. Soul whip that sorceress. Oh, repelled?
I'm gonna pull the sorcerers in. See what happens. We'll see what happens. It was. It didn't work. That's what happened. I thought melee men pretty much always worked. Maybe it has a distance limit or something. It worked that time. I got a... She summons a dragon. I wonder why she doesn't summon dragons from far away. I wonder if I can farm sorceresses for dragons a bit later. How far south am I now? Nine south. Five, six, seven, eight. Actually was up to date. Now I went ahead with the map. And I screwed up on the label. How safe or unsafe this is. I mean, I'm assuming I win. I'm I'm really thinking about will Lillian get killed pretty much most of the time. Nightlands on the liches. Let's see if your dragon breath can actually work. The Lorians, I guess that should make me think of a car, but for some reason it makes me think of Greek column styles. I wonder if the Dark Warriors are more dangerous than the Ixtal Corsairs. I have no real idea. I keep saying stoning him and I'm thinking that's something to worry about, but it's me stoning them. Okay, the DeLoreans don't die to Nightlance, or at least one cast of it. That's worth noting. So, I guess my hand-to-hand -hand people will attack them because they do crazy damage. And I'll Night Lance the Corsairs instead. 
How about that? Oh no, they don't die to it either. Ugh, everything has too many hit points. I'm going to keep stabbing the DeLoreans. Seems strange, stabbing cars. Uh, more healing per round. And I'm going to layer another Night Lance on the Corsairs to see if I can break through their hit point totals. Yeah, I got two of them. That's better than zero. Attack that warrior. Attack the Lorian. You have to hide to set up. Do you get flesh restore? No, that's a conjure spell, isn't it? Leshenu, that will cure two poisons. I don't know if it's more spellplane effective than casting, casting Flesh Restore twice, but it's more convenient. Angra's Eye, and a Vanquisher figurine. Well, and that's Elena and Elendor. So the figurine I can pretty safely draw. I haven't got... Oh, come on. One fight per building, please. Stash the longbows on a garbage character. Uh, they don't seem like they're going to be useful unless I find much, much better arrows. Oh, a 
tavern? In south, you see a tavern. Let's go south. purpose once you get a bard sword. Talk to the barkeep. Put all the money back, we'll talk to him. We'll tip him one. Ack, it's not just a word but state of mind. I think that's called here's a useless tip for your useless tip. Talk to the barkeep. One. That's okay. Five. Be on the lookout for magic gems. Yeah, I, I, I know that. There lies another bar in Solaria Bree. Seek it. It exists only in the dimension called Lucinia. That is a strange thing to be learning now. So, in Lucinia... In Solaria Free, find bar. I'm starting to think that the tips that I can get have nothing to do with where in time and space I am, which Go to the Bard's Hall and listen to the songs they sing. These seem like tips for totally different parts of the game. Which, in a game like Bard's Tale 1 or 2, where everything's in the same land, I could see it, you know, maybe he hears things and if he's paid a lot of money, passes them on. There is said to exist a key, there, wait, there is said to be a key existing in the Violet Mountains. Where was I taking those notes? In the monster list? Okay, this is, this is not the right place for this. Uh, there is said to be a key in, I'm not going to write all that, Violet Mountains to access Cyanus Tower. Apostrophication used correctly for a change there. Uh, 8,000. Nope. 13,000. Uh, top 7, 13,000. Top 6, oh wait, top 6, 13,000, not 1,300. Okay, I'm giving up on you. You're not telling me any new things. Okay, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems a little unlikely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because it doesn't line up with up there. Three east. So one, two, three. That that lines up for sure. Okay, let's um let's see if uh 
so this would be 11 this would be 12 this would be 13 so this does not really fit in a 13 by 13 grid but or 12 by 12 grid rather but maybe I don't care maybe I just don't feel the need for it to line up with the numbers For now, I'm going to leave it. One, two, three, four. Okay, that at least lines up. somehow undid it. Um, I have a strong suspicion that I've been to every interesting location in this town. So I guess the rest is going to be a leveling up process. Shade ghouls and sable liches. And a mage. The mage could be bad news. Ixtal Corsairs can wither. It's worth knowing. I wonder if Ixtal is the correct pronunciation. They're probably like, no, it's pronounced whoosh. Uh... I'm going to keep trying to kill off the ghouls, because ghouls sound meaner to me, I don't know why. But even though I know that the Corsairs can do a mean thing. Uh, I'm going to hide to start going after the mage? Does that make sense? Probably will drop to one soul whip. And which, which, incidentally, I'm going to cast right now.
Night Lance on the Corsairs. Uh, can you cast anti-magic? No, okay. You know what I should do while this is going on? I should map. Let's start filling in the places I've been. Oh, it's time to make fight decisions again. Uh, fight. B, B. Uh, toot your horn somehow. I don't know, do a time. Hide. Do nothing because you're useless. Night Lance A, Dragon Breath A. Okay, I'm not even paying attention to what's happening on that map. Or, what's happening on that combat? I see the movement stopped in the corner of my eye. Oh, there's another ring of road around this. It's probably gonna... Oh my goodness. Okay. This town is big. Um... Lena, you miss way too often. You're level 35. Why are you missing? I don't know. Maybe they have better armor class, but... A bad strength, maybe that as a factor. If that's the problem, it's gonna take a long time to fix.
that's a lot of extol mages. Is that a problem? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to attack the zombies for them, assuming they're going to step forward. They didn't have many hit points, so maybe a few mind blades will get rid of all of them. Well, the last one didn't have many hit points. Overall, I would say the strategy of mind blade got rid of quite a few of them. So let's keep at it. Ooh. Two mages left. I think the wind giants are mostly going to hit me for a lot of damage. Let's try Disrupt Illusion. That seems to have worked. And disrupt illusion is an ongoing thing, like if they make more illusions. Um, they will likely be disbelieved as well, without any more spells being cast. Oh, you're going to kill me on the round I win? That's great, because kill Lillian because she's going to get no experience from this. You could have cast that earlier. Oh, you didn't you didn't die. That's good. Use the knife. Use the boomerang. Hide in shadows. Resurrect. He's, like, I don't know, how do you repel a knife? Whoa. I accidentally changed the brightness of the screen. I don't know if that's going to get recorded. I'm going to start off with soul whipping that mage. I don't want him doing all those group attacks to my party. Uh, Lillian's going to quick fix herself. I'm going to hope she may get to the point where she can survive one spell.
everyone's attacking the Ixtal Corsairs because they have those status effects and because I know they'll be able to try to hit. The Glorians may or may not advance. So I'm going to start spell blasting the Glorians. DeLorean Columns. Uh, Chantrell. Chant Trell is gonna healing song. I was kind of curious how much damage Mind Jab would do at this point. It's not impressive. How about just Death Striking some stuff? That works. It's not, it's like 20 mana points, which used to seem like a lot. I still think a house should have one fight maximum. Uh, I don't know Manger's Mallet, what do I know? Rhyme? Lillian Dewspray survived a spell. I'm just going to point that out. He not survived the next spell. How does Mind Blade compare to Rhyme? Should be worse. In the sense of yeah, it does less damage. But Mind Blade reaches further.
I do feel a little annoyed if my fighters got moved to level 35. That um, my Archmage is not even level 13. Sorry, one fight per building. You others gotta wait your turn for the next building. So, here are the various building spaces we've been in. Uh, I'm going to start by putting in walls. Which the other side, I suppose, may not end up being not walls, but I'll deal with that later. And now, some shading. Probably should be a paler color for things you can actually enter. But whatever. I don't think we actually have any walls in this, like, non-enterable stuff in this town. I don't think that exists. At least I haven't seen it yet, and if we do, we can use it we can use a darker color. Okay, so there's a lot fewer ape grunts than last round. Rhyme must have done something. I wonder if apes are resistant to frost. Doesn't look like it. I just want to point out that um, Griselda is doing pretty much all of the work. If this was some kind of Ultima game, she would be getting all, almost all of the experience points. I don't know, maybe they fixed that in later versions. I played a lot of 
Ultimate 3 and 4 and 5. And there was all individual experience points for individual kills. I hope Blossom and Grisnak would be doing okay. Chantrell and Elena would be left out in the cold, as would Elendor and Lillian Dewspray. They'd be getting nothing. What is Dewspray anyway? I don't think that's how, do do you know it it just sort of forms. It doesn't spray. Oh well. Uh, Ixtal Magus demands Mind Blade. A wear cougar <laughs> in <the> modern. <laughs> oh my goodness. They did not anticipate how that term could have changed. Uh, bring around Ballad? Uh, no. Sanctuary score. Uh, Mind Blade. Have a stoned wear cougar. So if a wear cougar is a cougar, sometimes like when the full moon comes out. What is it the other times? Okay, that's so. In um, who founded Elena? In the original Bard's Tale, there were three times of horns: the fire horns, which you might get by the second dungeon, and uh, sort of famously, the starter characters gave you one. It was like the cheat was to realize the starter characters had a flame horn and abuse the crap out of that. I haven't tried out this Anger's Eye. I bet it makes one of these, so I'll wait until it falls off to try it. Who got the horn? Anyway, so by the second dungeon or so... You could get fire horns and do group damage with your bard. Uh, which... Um, was comparable with what the wizards could do by then. Although the fact that you could sneak it off the starter characters meant it was, in a way, crazy good, because from level one, you could have these sort of spell effects comparable to a mid-game mage. Anyway, late, it's as you progress through the game, it fell off, it wasn't good enough anymore. The amount of damage it did was, you know, it was nice that you could do more damage with someone in your front lines, but it wasn't significant. And eventually you find cold horns, and those were like, oh, these are very nice. And then they fell off eventually, and eventually you find flame horns. In this game, we're gonna start off, after we get over the starter part of the game, with flame horns. I sure hope they have horns that are stronger than flame horns. I don't know, lightning horn? This looks somewhat easy. 
all hand to hand enemies, I can just lower their, my armor class. and not get hit. Okay, so at this point, I've been everywhere you can reach from this segment of the town. I think has almost no effect because I got a, I now have 357 hit points instead of sorry spell points instead of 350 spell points, and I still have nothing useful to cast them on. To use to cast to cast with them. Um, So I'm getting the feeling that harmonic gems refill you all the way every time. Which means they scale with your spell point totals, which uh, means I guess they scale with your levels. Let's hand, hand this at least over to Elendor, and this probably too. Maybe she can use them in combat and be less than completely useless, or more than completely useless. Oh, this is so frustrating. It's queuing my keystrokes in the worst possible way. I don't know which way I'm facing either, because... My compass stopped. Compassing. One Sable Lich. Okay. 
I feel like liches should be rare and scary, but I don't think anything is rare in this game design. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No surprise. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. And these are going to have to move to, going to have to move to here. Because there's going to be a passage here and buildings here. In fact, these are going to be to the same. Finishes. I mean, well, you'll see what I'm up to. Um, Ixtal mages say mind late. So, oh, I shouldn't defend with her anymore. I should have her do something useful with, say, a dragon wand on the. Ape grunts. Okay, so while that fight is scrolling, I'm going to put in the various doors that I already saw.
Back to the fight. I'm going to attack the zombies because I think they give bad status effects. I didn't even see what the what the wand did. <laughs> Let me try to master wand on the latest's and soul whip on that last mage. Be sure he's gone. We use dragon breath on the latest's. Okay, so I'll try to see what Elendor is up to. Okay, that wand did. A 500 ish damage. I may want to save it at this point. attacked in the street uh, okay may just dictate mind blade okay so if I'm saving the dragon wand then I'm trying out the map no the master wand was the one that did all that crazy damage right okay So how much does the dragon wand do? Shade wolves. They repel, they repel, they repel. Okay, unclear. How useful the dragon wand is. I have two kinds of wolves to choose from. Regular wolf and a shade wolf. I wonder if they're there serendipitously. Mm, three sorceresses? Do I want to deal with this? I don't know.
Probably should have Nightlands the Sorceresses. What percentage of the total rooms have I entered of this town? So I've done these. I've totally been there. So this stretch is the same as this. This stretch is the same as this. These cancel out. Uh, that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. To weigh against, for example, all of this. So less than half. Oh, and I can name floors, right? This is Ciara something or other. And this I'm going to delete because I don't want that concept. Oh, meanwhile, I should make the city look like a thing. Maybe a different color than the color I've been using for something you can go into. Bark, bark, bark. I don't know if you can hear that. It's the upstairs dog barking again. So excited. So excited. Uh, Elena, you are going to hide. was um, an exhausting trip into this one building. Let's 
seven south. Eight south. Probably should cure that poison. Nine south. Twenty eight shade dogs. So I got to 11 south, so that means these locations have been explored and that's where I am. At this point, it's possible to believe that I've explored about half of the buildings. Which makes me think, um, I guess when I get to this corner, I'm going to stop, end the recording, and continue to Valerian's Tower. This has effectively become mindless grinding. Well, not entirely mindless. I mean, I am mapping and stuff, and there is the promise that I might find something interesting, but I'm suspicious I will not find anything interesting. Why did I have Hot Blossom attack the Shade Blob dogs? Blech. I should have had everyone attack the Dark Warriors. They probably have more hit points, and if they don't, I can focus the larger group with spells more efficiently. Oh, we have a Wind Giant. I didn't even notice. The Ixtal Mages are cranking out Illusionary Giants. Disrupt Illusion. Goodbye, Lillian. It's kind of funny, there's some spells it gives you the choice, do you want to attack your enemies or do you want to attack your friends? 
and some spells it's just like oh you want to attack the enemies maybe it's just group spells like you don't ever want to cast a group spell on your friends they think i feel like it's a little more arbitrary than that that there are exceptions decided that I was already 11 south. Is there an endless road thing here? Or... I don't know. Maybe I just misread the coordinates at some point, or maybe I got fumble-fingered and went the wrong way at some point. Stop right there. See you all later. Next session. <laughs>